Hi, my name's Davis, and I'm here to tell you everything that you need to do to become a plant, too. You need to absorb the red and blue light. And reflect the green light. Ew. Hi, I'm a plant. Look at me. Now, let's go deeper into my structure. What? This is a chloroplast. It has an outer and inner membrane, as you can see. In addition, the stroma is the cytoplasm between the granum. Here, Davis is in a layer of thylakoid discs called a granum. The, there are many granums within each chloroplast. The reaction that takes place during photosynthesis includes... 12 H2O molecules plus 6 carbon dioxides plus sunlight yields 6 H2O, 6 oxygen gases, and glucose. Hi, I'm sunlight, and I'm getting absorbed by this Photosystem! This is a nice chlorophyll B with magnesium at its center. Okay, go. Hi, I'm energy. And because the electrons are excited, I'm going to be able to go from chlorophyll B to chlorophyll B to chlorophyll B. Man, I do like magnesium. Man, I do like magnesium. To chlorophyll B. And since my wavelengths are the right length, I'm going to be absorbed by chlorophyll A. Hey, it's energy here again. I'm just hanging out at chlorophyll A, and I'm ready to start the photosynthetic reaction. And now, since I've excited all of the electrons, uh, not all of the electrons will return to their normal state. Two of them will go to the primary electron acceptor. And now that we know that, we're ready to go to our next stage. Hi, we're electrons, and we're ready to hop on to the electro electron transport train to photosystem number one. Hi, it's me, the plant. I just want to let you all know that I need three essential things. I need sunlight. Ah! I need carbon dioxide, and I need water. Now, I'm going to show you what happens when I have water absorbed inside of me. All plants are photoautotrophs because they can produce organic molecules from inorganic molecules such as water and carbon dioxide using the energy that they get from sunlight. Hi, I'm water, and I've just been absorbed by this plant. And I'm at P680, otherwise known as the Chlorophyll A Reaction Center, and I'm about to be split. Hey, water here again in Photosystem 2 on Chlorophyll A. I've just been split into oxygen gas and hydrogen ions that are now building up in the inner thylakoid space. One major difference between Photosystem 1 and Photosystem 2 is that in Photosystem 1, water is not split. Hi. This is hydrogen ion here in the inner thylakoid space. Man, it's getting kind of packed in here, so I think it's time that you guys see how chemiosmosis works. To create ATP as a part of chemiosmosis, I, as a hydrogen ion, need to bond with ATP synthase enzymes in order to exit the inner thylakoid space. I, as an ATP synthase enzyme, am going to bond with the hydrogen ion and take him out of the inner thylakoid space to create a high energy bond to form ATP. Hi, I'm an electron, and now that the electron transport train has finally arrived at oh, photosystem one, I'm going to excite this first chlorophyll B.
As energy, now that I'm excited. As energy, now that I'm excited, I'm going to be able to jump from chlorophyll B to chlorophyll B to chlorophyll B and finally to chlorophyll A. Chlorophyll A, electrogen, electrons and hydrogen atoms are carried into the Calvin cycle as a part of NADPH will take them in and NADP plus will come out. Hi, ATP here in the Calvin cycle to help with the dark stage of the photosynthetic reaction. Here in the Calvin cycle, ATP helps with a series of chemical reactions to help produce sugar, the main goal of photosynthesis. These are derived from elements found from the three things absorbed by the plant. This entire process that makes sugar feeds the plant. And that, my friends, is photosynthesis.